so uh, you have developed that wonderful and engaging content and you have that website working and you have the domain and everything now you would like for the customers for the visitors for the traffic to come to your website so how do you go about it uh, consider an analogy consider a chef who has uh, developed a wonderful recipe for something very wonderful tasty and that recipe is ready and the chef would like to bake that wonderful food item so how would the customers know that there is a fresh recipe how would the visitors know the visitors are not just going to accidentally uh, come to the restaurant a message has to go to the visitors in a certain way so that is the analogy so uh, what we are talking about is how you get found so what we are talking about is something called which we have uh, going to discuss in lot of detail is search engine optimization seo so what is search engine optimization it means that what are the methodologies what are the techniques how do you bring your website in the top positions in the organic search results without of course a paid up advertisements without paying any money so that is the point how should you get found so i will not go into lot of details about search engine optimization in this module the reason being because we have number of modules in which we will go into lot of details about search engine optimization but of course what i'll talk about briefly is how you attract the search engine in a nutshell and how do you attract the traffic to your website so you attract uh, the search engine by of course having that useful and valuable content in your web page so it should be couple of about maybe 3 to 500 words which are relevant to whatever service or product you are selling or providing you should be aware about the keywords which are relevant to your business domain and those keywords should be sprinkled across your home page and across your different pages and then there are meta tags which go inside the page which are specially for the search engines so that the search engines get what they are looking for those meta tags and your website or your web page or that home page should be easily navigatable it of course serves two purposes your visitors and your customers they can navigate through your web page and the search engines can also easily navigate through your web page so that it is easy for the search engine robots to index your web page there should be a site map also the site map of course tells in a nutshell that what is located where uh, more for the search engines and then is link building there are two types of link i mentioned something in the prior module also one is the front links and one is the back links front link or the direct links are the links within your pages links within your website so uh, for example i have product i mention a product then i click on it it takes me the details of the product i click on it it takes the more details so everything is happening within my website so those are the direct links then there are back links back links are the websites credible websites who are referring to your website so that is very valuable because if you are referred by an authoritative or authority not authoritative but an authority in certain area so that adds credibility to your website and it brings up the ranking of your website over the organic search results then is attracting the traffic so how do you attract traffic how do you bring people to your website there are number of ways for example you should have reviews you make the reviews on sites like yelp or trip advisor or other websites like this or other directories uh, facilities and there you have written about certain things and then there are links which are coming to your website and of course write blogs write the blogs because the blog give a certain personalized uh, view of your website i'll talk more about the blogs 
so let's look at some statistics we see what is the impact of positive and negative reviews on the buying decisions and you can see over here that it's 90 percent over here so 90 percent so people are influenced 90 percent they make a decision okay that decision is influenced by the reviews buying decisions i give you one example uh you go to you you go to a restaurant and uh, you have you decide to go to a restaurant and you look at the reviews so will you go to a restaurant with three stars or two stars or two and a half stars obviously you will go to a restaurant with a higher number of stars so why shouldn't your customers go to a website with a higher ranking with a higher number of stars so for example these are some of the websites where uh, people can write their reviews you want your website to be listed correctly because when the search engine indexes your web page and uh, they it creates an application where the link is there of your website and people click on it or a summary of your website is there then please ensure that the correct information about your website is there correct contact information you can do it by visiting your websites individually or you can register to a website which will update all the information at different locations and then of course is the online maps it is a great go to go and uh, with this the online maps you can attract the traffic and the customers will physically also come to your website which corresponds to your physical business verify your business information verify it check it fix it correct it so that the traffic which you are getting that traffic knows who you are how to contact you okay these are interesting figures which shows that there is 126 percent more leads when the blogs are there so in the previous module i spoke with you that having a blog adds the online credibility to your business so what are the benefits of having a blog you can see that it generates more leads 126 percent more so more leads more potential for business so why write a blog there are four main reasons because your customers are used to professional uh, language which describes your services your organization but a blog is something which is more hum which is more humane it tells behind the scenes and it provides you uh, an opportunity to be uh, more informal to be fun right and it generates a lot of content also and you uh, the blog gives you an opportunity to make a sale without actually sounding that you are making a sale so these are some of the benefits of writing a blog blog gives industry credibility because it gives you an opportunity to influence those references in the industry of course that content has to be fresh and new and of course finally when the content is new it is fresh it is good for search engine optimization so that's all i have for this module